Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mac Tech Keyboards and today we are taking a look at a new switch from Akko. This is the Akko Rosewood. Often I can actually say, hey, this is a new version of or it's similar to another Akko switch, but I don't think I can say that for this switch because I don't think I've ever come across another switch quite like this. Now, I've made some Franken switches that were in the general vicinity of this, but this switch really is a Thaki switch. And I'm saying that without the hyperbole of what Thaki entails. Now, I know for a little while, Marbly or Hi Fi or Poppy or Glassy has been in vogue but Bucky still has its place i just found that a lot of switches seem to be moving away from that now remember i am a tactile guy at heart but this may become one of my favorite linear switches today now it has a 40 gram spring Plus or minus five grams and it has a total travel of four millimeters so it's not a long pole it is made out of uh, some interesting materials for the top cover they're using a pa12 blend they're using a pa6 bottom housing and it is lightly factory pre-lubed as can be seen on the inner top uses a custom nylon material for the stem and they're using a 22 millimeter single stage spring now personally i'm not usually the biggest fan of lightweight switches especially anything under 45 but this one doesn't really bother me especially once i put it in the keyboard. I went ahead and loaded up a set of these Rosewood on a stock ring 75 and I was pleasantly surprised. How deep they sound. Now I would call it almost crispy clock because it's probably because of the high fine layers that the Rini includes in its construction so because there's still a little bit of a pop there but it's definitely on the lower side so it really is an interesting and pretty switch made from both a pink bottom and top housing and what is almost a uh, burnt orange or pale orange very similar to the holy panda stem although it's not a tactile as all Akko switches do they these come in a box of 45 and are currently listed for i believe 13.99 for a box of 45 so while this is definitely not a silent switch it is a quiet switch and i'll be working on a video soon kind of showing the difference between the four different general volume levels that switches can have from silent all the way to high fly but this is definitely a thaki switch and there's a couple of different builds that i'm thinking of putting this into that i think will really make that deepness even deeper but that'll be for another day today i'm going to leave everybody with a sound test of the Akko rosewood switches a linear switch with a deep bottom out they're on a stock rainy 75 using 1.4 millimeter die sub pbt keycaps cherry profile 
I do hope that you enjoyed this video. I want to wish everyone watching an awesome day. And until the next transmission, keep calm and keep it on.